screwed me though. When the cherry bomb was just sitting there, I'm pretty sure it pretty much screwed me. So I pretty much know what to do. Um, I just want to go... Oh, you want to get this though. You want to bloom these. Because it, contain, it contains awesome items. Traveler's Charm. Sweet. Okay. Um, I know there's more, but I want to go over here first. Oh, there's a devil. Devil or demon gate? I think it's a demon gate. Oh, shit. Alright, way to go. Let's do this. All right. I know this thing is very bulky, so let's do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, no. Ugh. Shit. Ah, there we go. Ah, ah, ah. Just defeated that dude. I'm still going to collect Demon Fangs, though. Because there is an item later in the game that I do want to get. I just ran into that scroll, like, randomly. Like, on, not on purpose, of course. Uh, but this is, this is the... This is actually the uh, demon, demon fang guy. Uh, oh, how funny. I don't think I've seen a wolf before. What's your name? What? Come on, tell me your name. You may only be a wolf, but manners are matters. The name's Isun, and this furball here is a Madrasu. Dot dot, that's a bit of a mouthful. Let's go with Chalky, shall we? Oh my gosh! As for me, I'm the infamous Fang Trader. Yes, I am the great Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh? No, I'm kidding. Okay, that's enough talking to you for now. Seriously, you need to fucking get out of here. Because he's just basically telling you about the demon fangs and crap like that. But I already know about it, so... What, so what I'm talking about is the Golden Lucky Cat. It brings honor's luck, draws money, and other valuables near. This is what you're going to want to get. Also, I would recommend getting the wood mat and this too, I guess. The golden peach fills your astral pounds into... No. Eh. eh not really. Um, but the special items are in pink, so the wood mat, it makes a catch offering and sleep on this mat and your wounds will heal. I don't think I need that because I have other st I have other strategies to help me heal and I'm actually very confident in my ability to fight I mean if I if I took out Waka like I just did this game is gonna be this game is gonna be pretty easy and I don't need the wood map because the origin mirrors actually do heal you so I don't need that um the peace bell eh, that you know for 20 demon fangs that seems like a lot and I'm probably not gonna get that um so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to just equip it and I'll uh, I'll show you in a second where's it actually I'll uh, I'll use it on the on the devil demon gate over here to show you guys how great this item is and it will be very very much it will be very, very much great. Okay. Oh man, are you serious? Okay. Let's just work on them one at a time. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. That took out that. Ah, crap. Okay. It's kind of weird. Where's the other one? Did I kill him already? Wow. No! Oh, thank God. Thank God he missed. That would have that sucked. Shit. Damn it. Oh! Okay. So you see how... Look at that. The, de uh, the, the fang just came to me. I don't have to pick it up anymore. They, they'll just fly into me. Which is very, very nice. I mean, it's freaking awesome. So, alright, so we got more praise, 
that we should probably that we should probably use. Um, and it will also increase your money, and it will also increase your time in your battles, which will make them much less time because you're not picking up you're not picking up shit constantly. So I'm actually gonna use some of this praise. Uh, wow. Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna save up and I'm gonna use my ink because I think the first thing I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade to the max is my ink pot because my health seems to be very comfortable right now and I'm not very worried on. I'm not worried about dying or anything because I'm at, I'm very confident in my ability in this game. So, let's talk to this kid. Oh, poor Umi. I wonder if he's okay. Oh, hello there, doggy. You all alone too? I'm Kakari. Pleased to meet you. I sound pitiful, don't I? Well, this kid is pretty pitiful too. What? This? This is my fishing pole. Actually, there's no fishing line or hook on it right now. But there's a reason for that. My dog Umi and I were exploring a secret place the other day. An ancient building known as the Toots of Ruins. We'd never be able to get into the ruins until we found a key deep in the forest. But when we went in, we heard a horrible roar from deep within. I didn't waste any time getting out of there. I locked the entrance to the ruins and hightailed it home. I thought Umi had followed me, but he was nowhere to be found. I bet he's trapped back at those ruins. Oh my god, his voice is giving me a fucking headache. He must be crying, all scared, all alone. If you know where he is, then why don't you go rescue him? This is no time to be fishing. Yes, well, there's a reason for that. You see, on my way home from the ruins, I fell near the water's edge and then went in the key. I tried my hardest to fish it back out, but I've lost all my line and hooks. All I have now is this pole. Wah! I've tried my hardest to f Oh. Wah! Boom! Ouch! Now cut that out! There's nothing I hate more than a crybaby. You were the one who left your dog in those ruins. So you gotta do whatever it takes to forget the key to get that key and go help him. Not forget. But 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 Listen here, kid. Fish is all about attitude. Attitude! There's nothing you can't catch with the right attitude. Fish babes or whatever. It all can be yours! Go ahead, act like you're having fun. We'll watch. Oh my god, my freaking head. Okay, way to go. Ah, uh, so, 25 minutes. Boy, this murky water sure gives me the creeps. People call it Deep Abyss because they can't see the bottom. But that's not why these waters are famous. Legend has it humongous fish swallow the moon reflected on the surface of the water. No one knows that the legend is true, but to this day, the moon never rises here in Agata Forest. Give the fairy tales a rest, will you, kid? They're so gloomy. Think more positive. Have fun. Fun! Okay, Amy. Let's use that celestial brush of yours to- Oh, boy. Okay, basically he's gonna teach us how to goddamn fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Whoa! Did I actually get a bite? Careful now- Careful now, kid! Don't pull with all your might. You'll just wear yourself out. Just reel in nice and slow. Yeah, these, these are actually, like, pretty fun. Um, you, the fish actually give you nice money, um, if you fish, like, constantly. So what you're gonna want to do is when you hit the, bu the button will appear, you hit the button, you power slash it, he'll fish it out. The bigger fish is gonna take a lot more, is gonna take a lot more than one power slash, it's gonna take, like, two or three. Um, but that, that doesn't matter, though. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's if, if it's in the blue too much, you're gonna lose the fish. Plain and simple. So if we caught another crawfish. I think that's what it's called. Yes, it is. And then the big ass fish will come out. So you'll know what I'm talking about. I think that's a big salmon or whatever. Except, 
salmon are not going to be that easy to fish out. It's going to take like maybe two power slashes to get that, like a giant salmon like that. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, I don't know where a merchant is though. Like where a merchant is in this area, I have no freaking idea. That's a giant ass salmon though. Wow, that's a big one. Hmm? Blah. <laughs> hey! Th that's the ruins key! It popped right out of the mouth of that big old fish! Now I can go save Umi over at the ruins! I'm gonna go all the way in this time! No running away for me now! He just takes it! Oh my god, that's so funny! Hey! Get that back! Heh <laughs> Good move, Amy! We can't have that kid getting hurt on your watch! Well, what are we waiting for? We got a lost dog to find in Tutsa Ruins. Yes, we do. Now, oh shit. Get out of here. Alright. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Next time we will be going into the Tutsa Ruins. Uh, which is actually, I actually like that. I actually like that little dungeon that they give you. It's like a Hannah Valley type thing. And yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, let's feed, let's feed the little shit bunnies. All right. Yay. Okay, we found an exorcism slip. That's cool. So uh, next time we will be going into the ru the whatever ruins or whatever. I think this is. Uh, Kakari's house or whatever, so that's pretty cool. I don't know what's in here. Probably nothing. You consumed roasted meat. Oh, nice. It's nice in here. Okay, so yeah. So next time we'll be going into the Tutsa ruins. I'll probably just like. Actually, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to show you guys where it is. It's actually like right over there. So. This is where we're going to leave off, so I will see you guys next time.